What's up YouTube? Today we're gonna be looking at the DJS 1000. We're gonna be looking at resampling. The DJS uh, cannot assign separate effects here onto like it can't. You can't assign a different effect to a different pad. It's it's gonna be the same effect to whatever pad you want. So what you can do here is resample. You resample the sound that you want, and then you can use it and um, switch switch the the effect on a, on another sound. And let me raise the volume here. For example, there, right? If I want that sound affected, that snare, I'll go in and I'll choose the effect, hit hit effect, and the effect I want, and select the track you want to be affected. So you take all these out because I only want that one to be affected. That's what I wanted to sound like, let's say. So I'm gonna go to that empty pad, hit uh, um, the sample edit, resample, and um, let's say I just want it one time. I don't want it to run through like like the way you were hearing it, like a lot of times. So all I do is keep it at one bar. One bar is enough. If you want a one shot, let's see. And there it is. So once you're done with that, I can save it. I'm going to put um, snare FX. Jump out of there. And there it is. Affected. I can turn off the effects now. And this is dry. That one's affected. So I will probably do that to each and every one of those that I want to affect. And let's go with another one. I'm gonna go ahead and browse for another sound. Matter of fact, I'm gonna use the same the same pad I used on that one. Use another sound. And let's do it with uh let's do it with a hat now. Let's see what happens. And now let's choose a different effect. Uh, effect. That's affected. This is not affected. So I'm going to go with that one. On the second one here, same thing. Sample edit. Well, I'm going to leave it at one bar. Oops, wrong one. And it's recorded. Save it. Hi hat. Effects. Save. Turn off the effects. Jump out of there. And that's pretty much it. Very easy, very simple, and an effective way. That's because we can't assign this effect separately, like a separate effect to a different pad. It, it has whatever I assign it to, it's going to be all that effect. And sometimes we don't want it like that. Sometimes we want it where you want a, maybe a dub echo on, on, on one thing, a pitch echo on another, a reverb and a plate reverb, a plate reverb, I mean, a lo fi. Whatever it is that you might want. Because now look, I got that one with the reverb, that one with the dub echo, and then that one with the lo-fi, or I can go or with the high patch filter.
pitch. So if I were to record something right there, put my metronome. So let's say I want to do it like that, like a pretty much a loop or something. I can do it with that too. Go ahead. He's dead. This is a one one bar. I'm gonna play it out and. Take this out, save it, hi-hat, I'm going to name it hi-hat, loop effect, effects, save it, let's see what we got down that one, oops, wrong one. And I forgot to mention, when you do this, You have to, uh, don't forget to take that metronome off because I, I recorded and it came out with the, you hear it? So I'm going to record another one without it, just for the. I don't hear it here, so I save it. I had loop XF because I got the other one. All right, let's see now. All right, there we go. Yeah, we got to make sure it's off because when you record it on on, it's going to stay. Now, there's another way. Let me see. I think I can do it this way as well. You can use the sampling button. For example, it's playing there. But I'm going to switch the effect now, so it won't sound the same. Let's see how that turns out. I had it on a... Uh, the length was on 16, so it's going to be a little bit longer. Now, let's hear that one. So there's two ways you can do it. You can do it on the, in the sampling edit, editing, or you can do it in the sampling, the live sampling, which is just uh, let it play and hit the pad whenever you want. And, and I think they're both good, but I found the live sampling one to be easier because you can just play out what you want, and whenever you're ready, hit it. Now, one thing is what you have to do is when you're done with it over here on the live sampling, if you wanted to have a name, you can just save it the way it is, but it's going to be with that default name. Or you can come in here on the, you know, just tap on it on the sampling edit and, and give it its own name before you save it on the other. If you save it here on the live sampling site, if you if I hit save and then I go rename it, I'm going to have two copies of them. I'm going to have one with the name I give it and one with the default name. Now, if I don't save it here and I just jump directly into the, the this right here, uh, the sampling edit, well, I give it the name and it won't give me two copies of it. It'll just give me the the name of whatever you know I played out. I mean the, the whatever I typed out. So so that's pretty much how you how you work the effects here on the resampling. This is very handy when um you need certain effects or certain sounds to have certain effects, not all the same effects. So you can just resample it real quick and um and give it that you know that touch. And then you can probably, if you don't need the other one, the, like the regular head, you got the, you got the affected and you got the, and then you got the, the dry one. You can get rid of the dry if you don't really need it, 
that's just an extra pad you'll have there since we are limited on this to 16 um, it would be nice if they had two two banks at least but that's about it for this video it's a uh, resampling on the DJS 1000 see you guys on the next